Hello and welcome to this learning video and I am back with the second problem on this graphical method. Okay, so let us see what this problem says. This problem says solve the following LPP maximum Z is equal to or maximize Z is equal to 40x1 plus 60x2 subject to 4x1 plus 9x2 less than equal to 2000 12x1 plus 5x2 is less than equal to 5000 and 6x1 plus 10x2 is less than equal to 900 okay so and x1 x2 greater than equal to 0 and we have to solve this problem by graphical method so the very first step of the graphical method is to draw the graph and to draw the graph we have to look for the constraint and for the constraint as you can see these are the lines so to draw these lines we have to find out at least two points and we can do that easily so for this we can have points like say x1 x2 okay put x1 is equal to 0 when you put x1 is equal to 0 what you'll be getting x1 0 you'll be getting uh, 2000 by 9 so it is something like 9 to the 18 two 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 point two two okay triple two point two two then put x2 is equal to 0 so 4x1 is equal to 2000 so x1 is equal to 500 right so we got the first okay so for this we can have we can have point x1 x2 okay put x1 is equal to 0 so when you put x1 is equal to 0 x1 0 so i'll be getting x2 is equal to 1000 and for x1 0 okay and then for x2 0 what i will be getting 417 something like okay I will be getting 416 okay 416.67 okay likewise for this you can have points these are all rough work okay so if you want you can do that so this put x1 is equal to 0 so this would be 90 okay and for x2 0 it would be 150 simple now we got the points now let us draw these uh, lines okay so let me draw this here this is x1 this is x2 this is origin okay now the very first line x2 is 1000 and x1 416 okay so if and suppose I am taking this point to be 1000. So this is 0, 1000. Okay. And accordingly I have to take 416 on the, on the x1 axis. Okay. So what it should be? It should be like this. Let me draw it. I don't have a scale to draw. That's why I'm struggling to draw this thing. Okay. So this is my x1. Right. Now, the second, this is, this point is 416.67. So I will write it here. 416.670. Okay. And this is my line. 4x1 plus 9x2 is equal to no this is 12x1 this line is this so 12x1 plus 5x2 is equal to 5000 okay now this one x1 is 500 and x2 is 222 so x1 is 500 means it may be over here right and 222 may be somewhere here okay so just draw this line so I'm drawing this. So this is uh, this is what 500 zero. This is 500 zero, and this point is 222 point two two 
0 okay and you can put this uh, as 4x1 plus 9x2 is equal to 2000 okay now after that uh, this one 6x1 plus 10x2 so 90 and 150 so x1 is 150 so somewhere here 150 and 90 is somewhere here okay now you draw this and this is my 6x1 plus 10x2 is equal to 900 okay now after this we just look for the common region so for this 4x1 plus 9x2 this when you put x1 0 x2 0 so 0 is less than equal to 2000 so it uh, it satisfies this so this means my region is towards the origin for 12 x1 plus this also this also shows my region is towards the origin means this okay and the last one also shows my region is towards the origin means which is the common region that we can take this is the common region okay if if it uh, if if the sec last one is like 6x1 plus 10x2 greater than equal to 100 then this would be my region okay but that is not the case so this is the region now just look for the points so this is uh, 150 0 and this point is uh, 0 90 okay so say this is a this is b now just write it down okay so what you can write the feasible region is the feasible region is O A B O with with corner points with corner points O as zero zero A as uh, one fifty zero B as uh, 0 0.90 as shown in the figure as shown in the figure okay so now next we have to find out the we got the feasible region next we have to find out the value of z at each of these corner points right so now z at a is equal to 40 what is a okay 0 okay okay let me find out 0 40 0 plus uh, 16 to 0 so this is 0 next you find z at a what is point a a is 150 0 plus 60 into 0 is equal to 15 for the 60 so this is 6000 right is it 6000 and then z at b what is z at b 14 to 0 plus 90 sorry 16 to 90 so 96 are 54 so this is 5400 what we want we want the maximum so what is the maximum value this okay so you can write down Therefore, the solution is, therefore, the solution is Z is equal to 6000 at, at A. Therefore, the maximum z is equal to this at point a which is uh, 150 0 and the solution is and the solution is what max z is equal to 6000 and x1 is equal to 150 
and x2 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is the uh, solution of this second problem. So I hope uh, this is making sense. And for any, uh, for any doubt or for any clarification, you can uh, contact. Thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.